My name is Jason Neely and I'm the president of CPE Tech. The simulators have given us the ability to put the operators into situations that they wouldn't normally be in in a training environment. From a safety perspective, there's nothing that compares to operating in a simulator. And then bringing in experienced operators and letting them go through some situations as well. Reenacting accidents or anything like that. We can set it up how it was out on the dock and then all of a sudden you're back in the same situation and you can be instructed on how to deal with that the next time it comes up. As far as the time you're able to put people in the simulators versus a real crane, real cranes are made to make money, not have people in them training. The simulators are made for training. You're going to save a ton of money just in that regard. I'm Virginia Perez and I am the training coordinator here at West Gulf Maritime Association. We decided to acquire the simulators and CP Tech does assist with that. They do the simulator training as well as assist with the on-the-job training. So it's been a huge benefit. Previously the program just kind of trained on the job with the employers, with the worker actually working in the crane, learning that way. Having the simulators has been a big advantage. They get two weeks of practice in a simulator where there's, you know, the, the, there's not the nervousness of damages or, or anything like that. They get to really get familiar with the equipment, the different view that they're gonna have. And so it, it's been a great asset. We've had several of the operators say that it's been very helpful once they go out on the job training it's a huge advantage. Name's Mike Hensgen. Uh, my position here for CP Techs is the assistant manager of VR simulations. In the time that I've been here and from what's been told to me, these have been a great training asset and have made a noticeable benefit uh, and have been a noticeable benefit to the trainees coming through here. So yes, we'll see roughly 100 students per year people coming through the program are actually able to get in the cranes and be more effective running the cranes after we implemented the simulators than the way we were previously training. The feedback from the motion has been absolutely positive and even from the trainees, they have an easier time controlling the crane, especially controlling the swing of the spreader bar when the motion is active than when it's turned off. I, believe that is due to just them being able to actually feel what the crane is doing rather than just looking at themselves moving. The motion is very, very helpful. I think my favorite report is the uh, full summary report that uh, I'm able to pull up after each scenario. I can go over what their move rate was. If they were having a lot of collisions or if they were hitting the ship, landing down on containers hard, anything like that, I can go over those numbers with them as well as show them what their moves looked like, what their actual arcs were, and whether they were coming up way too high or not coming up high enough. And then the other report that I do really like is the joystick movement graph because I can actually show them how smooth or rough they're being on the controls. It's a good visual representation to show them when I'm telling you you need to be smoother on the controls, this is what I'm talking about. For anybody considering purchasing or using simulators, I would definitely recommend it. It has been a huge help here with us. We've had operators that were certified and that have come back to do a little refresher on the simulators. Um, I think it's a huge advantage for anybody that has this type of program.